Today we are going to look at sine and cosine rule under trigonometry. We are looking at a situation where the triangles are not right angled. How can we find the sides and how can we also find the angles? We start our discussion on sine and cosine rule by looking at the sine rule. The sine rule states that the sides of a triangle are proportional to the sines of the opposite angles. Now here is the triangle ABC. The side opposite angle A is labeled small letter A. And the side opposite angle B is labeled small letter B. And the side opposite angle C is labeled small letter C. Now, in the side, in the side rule, it means that our A, side A, all of our sine of angle A is equal to the side B all over the sine of angle B and is equal to the side C all over the sine of angle C. Or sine A all over small letter A equal to sine B all over small letter B equal to sine C all over small letter C. This is the format of the sine rule. The first one is used when you want to calculate a side, the length of a side of a triangle. The second one is mainly used when you want to calculate the angle of the triangle, any of the angles of the triangle. Now, the formula is used to solve triangles which are not right angled and in which A, two sides, and the angle opposite one of the sides are given. I repeat, two sides and the angle opposite one of the sides are given. Let me illustrate this by this example here. Here you have triangle ABC. You are giving AB, you are giving BC, and an angle opposite one of the given sides. In this regard, you can apply the sine rule to find A, the unknown side, and you can also find any of the unknown angles. You can also find the third angle here. So, with the former information given to you, you can find the other information. In most cases, out of the six information that you that you have in a triangle, three will be given to you and you'll be required to find the other three. You have three sides and three angles, making the six information of a triangle. We will look at B. Our B says that if you are given two angles, And any side two angles and any side. Here is a triangle. A scale. P, Q, and R. You are giving any two angles. You are giving this angle. And maybe I also give you this angle. And then any side, any side. So it can be this side, it can be this one. So let's say you are giving this one S. You are required to find this. You are also going to find this. And then you are also going to find this angle as well. So you have to find this, to find this. You find it's two sides and an angle. Where you are given any, any two angles and any side of the triangle. In this regard, you can also use the sine rule to solve this problem. For instance, in this case, you will be able to now write that your S, your S in this case, 
all over sin q will be equal to your qr all over sin p. In this case, you can now find your s to be equal to your qr times your sin q all over your sin p. You simplify this and then you have the value of f, which is this length of the side of the triangle. So this is the format you will use in finding solution to triangles that are not right angle and you wish the two conditions stated above are given. In this regard, the last one is two angles on any side are given to us. Let's take a look at the cosine rule. The cosine rule is used to solve triangles which are not right angled and in which one, two sides and the included angle is given. Two, three sides are given. We illustrate with the first diagram here. Here is a triangle A, B, C. And then the side B, C is A given to you. The side C, A or A, C is B is also given to you. The included angle is the angle between these two sides that are given to you. And that's what I've indicated here with the symbol theta. In this case, you can use the sine rule, sorry, the cosine rule to find the unknown side and also the unknown angles. You find the unknown side, you will also be able to find the unknown angle um, in this case here. So you have three unknowns. One is a side, the other two will be angles. Kosaru will help us to find this other information. Now, there is a case where no angle is given to us, but we have the sides are all given. The three sides of the triangle are all given. In this case also, we can use the Kosaru to find the angles. And sometimes we use the sine rule and the cosine rule together. After using the cosine rule, you can therefore apply the sine rule to solve the same problem. We shall see examples on that shortly. But meanwhile, take note of what I've written down for us now. Let us now see how the formula looks like. In this very first case here, where this side is not known, and this side is your C. And you need to write out the formula for finding the side C, or even the formula for finding the angle A, or angle C. So, what do we do? This is what we are expected to do. So, in this case, we have that our cost C will be equal to the two sides that are known, which is A squared, the B squared, the side that is not known, which you are looking for C, subtract the square of that. Now divide everything here by 2, multiplying A and uh, B. Of course, we know that C here is standing for the angle theta. But I would prefer that we leave it in this format for us to be able to quickly recollect the formula. So cos C is equal to A squared plus B squared minus C squared all over 2AB. The same thing applies if you are looking for the other angle. Assuming you are looking for angle B. So you will write cos B. Take note, this is B. So we take your A squared, we take your C squared, and minus B squared. And all over 2 of A and C. You see, the order of writing the formula is not difficult. And again, sometimes this formula are provided for you in your formula table. Now, the last one would be assuming you want to find cos A, you have A now, so you take B squared 
plus c squared minus a squared, everything all over 2bc. This is a case where you are looking for the angle. We shall now look at the second case where we are looking for the side. And as a matter of fact, by making either a or b or c the subject of the formula, you will get the value of the side you are looking for. Thus, for us to use the cosine rule to calculate on no side, for example, for the side c, we will have c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab plus c. Similarly, for a squared, it's equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc plus a. And then b squared is equal to a squared plus c squared minus 2ac plus b. Where our a, b, c are the sides, opposite angles a, b, and c, respectively. You can see that, as I said earlier, all you need to do is to either make c squared or a squared or b squared as the subject of the formula in the first equation that I gave, where you are required to use the equation to calculate the angles. So even if you use the equation for calculating angles, you will still get the same solution by making the unknown side the subject of the formula. We shall now take some examples for illustration. Example. Find the value of theta in the diagram above. You can see the triangle that is drawn for you, and you have the side T. This is an isosceles triangle, and this is the angle theta, and the opposite side is root 3T. Solution. In order for us to find the value of theta, you will recall the cosine rule. And the cosine rule states that given any three sides, given the three sides, you can find the angle theta. And of course, if you are also giving any two sides and an included angle, you can find the other side. So here, we use the cosine rule to solve triangles which are not right angled and in which those two conditions holds. In this case, our cos theta will be equal to, if you look at the triangle, the two sides that the angle is included, you square them. So you square t, you also square the other t. Then you will subtract the square of the third side, which is root 3 t r squared. You will now divide this by 2 times the two sides that are carrying the angle theta. So times t and then times t. Now you simplify what you have t squared plus t squared is 2 t squared minus the square root 3 if it is squared we give you 3 and if t is squared you have t squared everything here all over 2 t times t is also t squared with this one you can simplify this 2 t squared minus 3 t squared will give you minus t squared all over 2 t squared so that your t squared will cancel and your t squared will cancel so you are left with minus 1 all over 2 which is written as minus 0 0.5 now cos theta is equal to minus 0 0.5 this means that theta is in the third quadrant or in the second quadrant because it is in these two quadrants that cos theta is negative. So we will keep that in mind and find the value of theta when it is when cos theta is equal to 0 0.5. The theta now becomes the arc cos of 0 0.5. This value you check from the four figure table or your calculator 
and this will give you 60 degrees. Now that you know that theta is 60 degrees, you realize or you recall that but theta is in the second or the third quadrant. Okay, if that will be the case, then in the second quadrant, our answer now becomes so theta will be equal to 180 minus 60 degrees, and that will be equal to 120 degrees. That is theta in the second quadrant. And then theta can also be in the third quadrant, and that means 180 plus 60 degrees, and that will be equal to 240 degrees. Of course, you realize that we are talking about the triangle. And the sum of the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So having theta to be 240 degrees is not a valid uh, answer. So the correct answer, therefore, will be theta is equal to 120 degrees.